Okay, we'll start with the Mustard S60, size 10, Nymph hook. This is a uh, one extra heavy hook and I've got a slotted tungsten bead on there as well. So a good way of doing slotted tungsten beads is if you get your thread in it, if you can see that, in the slot, and then you just go around until the bead stops turning which will be round about now there you go just bring it down to the bottom and then you've locked that bead off so what we'll do now is we'll just go back make a foundation of tying thread this is a, a, a great nymph that I have had a lot of success with it's uh, I think just due to its uh, the weight of it and its buggy features so we'll prepare a partridge hackle like this we just strip one side trim off the end and that's about the right size so we'll just go back a little bit more what we need is just a tiny pinch of hazier dubbing this is a mix I've done this is hazier antron and a little bit of flash it's too much just need a, a wee bit here we'll slide that up and we'll just this is just before we put the tail on and we'll just put a little bit in like that and then we can take the prepared partridge hackle and tie this in like so for the tail and we can just tie this down along the hook shank take a whoops, hackle plier put that on the partridge hackle Line this on now I put that little bob of dubbing in there first just to keep the tail open that's good so we we'll just go back and we'll go on the other side of the stem like so lock that off once more good and I can remove that and we can tie this down now what we can also do here is we'll just trim that off a little bit and we'll place that stub in the slot of the bead there we are good let me just go back that's what I want that's the good tail let's get my dubbing needle and open these out that's how I want the tail good then what we need is a length of tinsel again just a little bit longer than the bead we'll go up a wee bit and then we'll fold that over to lock it and then we'll go back down into that good now we need some more dubbing here's another good little trick you know these uh, tubes of wax that you can buy? Uh, a Swedish friend introduced me to this. This is one of these little glue sticks, paper glues that you get from a school supply shop. And it costs a fraction of the price of the wax, but you can also use this for dubbing nymphs. So it's a good little tip. Good, let's put that on. We'll just get our hairsier dubbing 
mix again. You want this really buggy. If you want to, uh, if you don't know how to make Kezia dubbing, you can watch uh, a video. Uh, I've done one already that uh, takes you through the whole process. So we'll just go along the hook shank like this. A bit more like that. I'm going to pull some of this dubbing out, so just like that. Then we'll take a dubbing needle before we put the tinsel on. And we just, I want to pull all these fibers out and make it really buggy. Here we go. Excellent. And we'll take our tinsel. I want to make two or three turns here. And we'll lock that off there. Remove that. Then we need another prepared partridge hackle. We'll tie in there. Again, around that. Over there. Good. Hackle plier. around the back of the stem to lock it off. Don't catch the hackles and can remove that now. Let's fold those back while we tie it off. Remove that. Little red collar. Quick finish. One more. Get rid of the tying thread. Now, when you're varnishing these, bead head nips. Show you a technique here. Turn our fly upside down like so. Take our varnish and we put the varnish right on the hook eye and you'll see it disappear under the bead. Once it stopped disappearing under there, just wipe off the surplus and we're done. And that will go right in, so right in back behind the bead. And secure the bead totally. There we are. Can take a bit of a hackle just to clean out the eye. Pull out those fibres a little bit more. There we are. Partridge and hair. Thanks for watching.